So let's uh, let me discuss first of all what we mean by system. The system it is nothing but it is you know anything which is under the observation and it is separated by a fixed or an imaginary boundary. So system is what? System is anything which is under observation. Like myself, I'm a system. If somebody is, uh, you know, if, if someone else is observing me and uh, I am, you know, and uh, in my home, in my house, that is the boundary. So I, I become, uh, I'm a system. And system, you know, according to the statistical thermodynamics, if we are having several number of particles, then individual particle is known as a system because we are observing each and every particle. If each and every particle is under observation, and that particle is separated from the other, okay, and then that become a system. So like a hydrogen gas, individual hydrogen molecule will be considered as a system, okay, individual molecule become a system. Because under statistical thermodynamics, studying the individual particles. So remember, the individual particle is also a system. Otherwise, uh, it comes in our mind that a collection is called a system. No, a single particle, single ident identity, it may be a system. Now, then what it is, what is called the uh, assembly. You know, assembly means the collection of, the collection of the particles as a whole. Collection of particles as a whole. Is known as assembly. Or the collection of systems is known as the assembly. So, this individual particle, so individual particle, when they come together, then they form assembly. Like for example, when different people, they come together, then they form the assembly. Like that in our country, we have Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha assembly. And what is that? They are, not, they are the elected members and they represent the areas as well as their states. So assembly mean when the individual particles combine together under some protocol, under some protocol, when they combine together, then they form the assembly. Now, next definition is an ensemble. Ensemble. When, the, this definition is, when very large number of assemblies combined together, they form assembles, okay? You know, assemblies are independent of each other and they have been made micro, if they have been made micro, micro, microscopically equal, then they can be combined. Now, ensemble is classified into the three classes. Macro ensemble, canonical ensemble, and grand canonical ensemble. And before going to ensemble, what is first of all a system. System is having of three category. Open system, closed system, and isolated system.
okay now the you know the ensembles are also similar to the to those of the systems like for example because the the ensemble they are classified into three classes first of all macro canonical assemble macro canonical ensemble it is similar to you know our isolated system okay then canonical ensemble is similar to our closed system and grand canonical ensemble is similar to our the open system remember micro canonical similar to the isolated system canonical similar to the closed system grand canonical similar to the open system okay an isolated system of n particles each energy you know each energy is capital e and in a volume v each particle hand of energy e and uh, having a volume v then by definition such a system exchange neither particles nor energy with the surrounding and that is called the macro canonical assemble they are made up of large number of individual assemblies those assemblies having the same energy same volume and same number of systems or the particles remember macro canonical assemblies many assemblies and assemblies they are having like this assembly this assembly this assembly assembly having same energy same volume same same number of system or particles right then such a collection of assemblies known as macro canonical ensemble and individual assemblies in the macro canonical assemblies are separated by the rigid and insulated wall and as they are separated by rigid and insulated wall that mean no energy no volume no number of particles can be transferred can be transferred or they cannot move from one assembly to the other assembly as because the system every assembly is isolated from the other and each assembly is separated by from the next assembly by the rigid and uh, isolated wall so they they cannot transfer uh, the energy as well as the mass cannot transfer because energy and mass cannot transfer the the system similar to the isolated system so moving on to the now we are coming to the next one canonical assembles the canonical assembles they are again a collection of a very large number of assemblies which are having now remember which are having same temperature same volume and identical number of particles okay listen again canonical assemblies large collection of the assemblies with same temperature same volume and identical number of particles this is you know the protocol it should have the same assemblies having the same what temperature volume and n now because the assemblies possess the same temperature it mean that the assemblies they they are touching each other they are touching each other and they are in thermal contact also with thermal contact with each other so that uh, 
they are having the same temperature. Okay, it is the necessary condition here. The energy can be transferred, there's no problem. By the transformation of energy, then they come, the assemblies, they come in equilibrium, that they maintain the same temperature. They maintain the same temperature, how? By the exchange of their energy. The necessary condition is the temperature, volume, and N. So one assembly with the other assembly is in thermal contact. Okay, hence the energy transfer takes place to keep the temperature constant. But the number of molecules in the individual assembly, they remain the same. That means mass, mass remains the same. So it is like a closed system. As in closed system, uh, closed system what? We can exchange energy, but matter cannot be exchanged. Okay, so remember, what is, you know, the canonical ensemble, the collection of assemblies, having same temperature, volume, and N. And may you call the number of particles, you may call systems. Okay. So exchange of energy takes place, no problem. The assemblies, they come in thermal equilibrium. Now I'm coming to the grand canonical assemble. Grand canonical assemble is made up of large number of individual assemblies having now, remember now, having same temperature, same volume, same chemical potential. Now a question come in your mind, what we mean by chemical potential? I'm coming to next. Chemical potential is represented by mu. So T, V and mu, that's a protocol. Here, assemblies are separated from each other by permeable walls. So as, so as to exchange energy or matter, no problem, but to keep the potential, chemical potential constant, potential, you know, chemical potential, it should be the same of every assembly. Right? What T temperature same mean? Thermal, they should be in thermal equilibrium because the wall is permeable. They come in thermal equilibrium. Volume, that means uh, space occupying one assembly. Every assembly, they are occupying the same space. Okay, same mu, mu, same mu mean, same chemical potential. What it is, I tell you, uh, I explain to you. So here, because uh, they can, the uh, assembly can exchange the number of particles here, no problem. System, uh, system always, you know, uh, system you say, assemblies, they come in thermal equilibrium, uh, as well as the chemical potential also remain constant. So such a system is what? It's, it is an open system. So grand canonical assemblies like open system. In open system, the matter can, you know, transfer the, 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 there can be exchange of the particles, okay, in our To explain the chemical potential, uh, let's take an example. We are having, you know, a glass of liquid water with the ice cubes and let temperature slightly more than the zero degree Celsius. You know, the water molecule, which is in the liquid phase, in the liquid phase, meaning liquid water, having the lower chemical potential than that water molecule which is in the solid phase. So that's, that's the reason why the, you know, uh, some of the ice, you know, it melts. When some of the ice melts, water molecules convert from the solid to the liquid phase. That like, like going from 
higher chemical potential to the low chemical potential. So that's why the ice cubes, you know, shrinks. Thank you.